My name is Faith Maina, an investment analyst at Saiton. We basically define private equity as investment or uh, purchase of a stake in a private company. Mm -hmm. A private company in this case is a company that is not listed in any securities exchange. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about companies that haven't sold their shares publicly on the stock exchange. Mm -hmm. So if you purchase a stake in that company, either an individual purchases it or another company purchases it, mm -hmm. then we say that's private equity. Ideally, how private equity works is that one company decides it's going to buy a stake in another company so let's call the first company company a mm. and the second one company b so company a is a company that is buying a stake into company b private equity transaction usually takes three key stages the first one is mm. the deal valuation and the transaction so is where the first company will agree on the value the, in which they're going to buy or for which they're going to buy the a stake in company b so for example company a might uh, value the second company for about 2 billion shillings and they decide they're going to buy 50% of the stake, they will invest a billion shillings to this other company. Mm -hmm. So the first stage is where you agree on the on the valuation of the company and then you go ahead and do the transaction. And transaction usually takes, um, can take a long period of time because of the due diligence that has to be done, there are a lot of agreements to be signed, this is the share purchase agreement and other documentation that goes into it. Then once the transaction has been done, the First company invests money into the second one and this money can go into either buying out shareholders of the second company or into uh, expanding the business in terms of um, either expanding the distribution or creating value. But generally we say when you make a private equity deal, then the purpose of the private equity deal is to create the, it's to create value or to add value in the company that you're purchasing. So if you're going to put, if company A puts money in company B, then it means they're looking for opportunities in which they can grow the value in this company. And then the third stage is when company A will wish to exit company B. And this happens after a long period of time, anything above five years. So you have already created value in this company, which means if you had valued it for 2 billion shillings uh, five years ago, then you're expecting that the value will be more than that. So for you to exit, you have to have created value. And for when you're going to exit, then you're expecting that you'll get more money or you'll get a return out of that investment. So the exit can either be through purchase or selling your stake to another private equity investor or through what we call an initial public offer, mm -hmm. where you list your shares on the stock exchange as an investor, and then you sell your shares to the public so in which case the equity investor then exits the company in which they had invested and the value they get above what they had invested is what their return is in form of capital appreciation for a private equity investor which most of the time is usually either a, a private equity fund which has collected money from various investors or institutions they put the money in a pool and then they invest in various or they buy stakes in various companies in various uh, industries just to diversify their portfolio. Mm -hmm. They have two ways in which they get uh, their returns. The first one is through dividends. Just like any other shareholder who holds shares in a listed company, then as a private equity shareholder then or a private equity investor, you're also entitled to dividends as long as this company is giving dividends mm -hmm. since you're a shareholder. Then the other way is through capital appreciation. Once you have invested and you have created value in this company, then you're expecting that the value of the company is going to grow. Mm -hmm. So if you had invested at two billion of value mm -hmm. and uh, the value of the company after 10, 15 years is maybe 4 billion, then the difference there is what we call the capital appreciation. So if your stake uh, was 50% of this 2 billion, then we'll expect that after the, uh, when you come to exit and you value the company at 4 billion, for example, then your stake is going to be 2 billion and the difference in what you had invested and what you'd get upon exit is the capital appreciation. Upside is that one, the returns in private equity are generally on average higher than the traditional investments which we refer to as equities and fixed income investments. Mm -hmm. Private equity uh, investments generally have higher returns because of the value you create and you're expecting that the companies will grow. Most people will invest in companies that are still young and they, that have potential. So after a long period of time, you'll expect that the returns for this company are actually higher. So the returns for private equity investments are generally higher than for those of uh, traditional investments. Downside of private equity investments are that one, they are, the transactions are very difficult to do because they take a long period of time and transaction data is not available for the public. So if today, for example, you want to buy a company and this company is in the construction industry, you wouldn't have information that would help you decide how to value this company. Yes, there are, me there are methodologies you can use to value it, but you don't have historical data that would be assist you in actually getting the actual value of 
the company. So the lack of information in the in the industry on private equity deals becomes a problem for any person who wants to do a private equity transaction. Mm -hmm. But the returns always cover for the risk and the 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 work you have to put in as a private equity investor. To learn more on private equity investment and other investment opportunities in the market, you can join us for our bi-weekly wealth management trainings at Cyton.